If you're looking for an animation package, most likely you've heard of either Toon Boom Harmony, Anime CC, or Moho, but there are other options other than these three with some cool features. These underdog packages vary in workflow and may be what you're looking for. So let's take a look. Kakani. Kakani is a vector-based animation package that gives you some really great tools to play with. The drawing tools take some time getting used to, but the learning curve is not steep. The interface is pretty decent, it doesn't look out of date, but at the same time it doesn't look extremely modern. Where Kakani shines is in its ability to auto-generate in between keyframes for you. That means technically all you would have to do is draw your key animations and it can fill in the in-betweens for you. But it doesn't always work that way, and in some cases you'll have to tweak it until you get it working properly. Also, Kakani can work a little buggy at times. I did experience some crashes, but overall the package is fun, innovative, and I can't wait for an update. Anime Effects Anime Effects is a nifty simple package that lets you animate your character using a bone deformation system. It's somewhat similar to packages like Moho or Crazy Talk. Other than a bone system, you can also animate freeform deformation, movement, rotation, opacity, and image changing. Anime Effects does not have any drawing tools, so that means you'll have to use additional drawing software to create your artwork, but it does allow you to import PSD, JPEG, PNG and GIFs. Best of all, this package is free, so you can download it now and give it a try. For what it is, Anime Effects is really great. It gives you a nice assortment of tools to animate. Criso. Criso is an open source digital painting package, and built on top of that is a great animation toolset. The animation toolset is heavily based on a traditional animation workflow and gives you some really great tools. The Criso UI is very modern and easy on the eye and everything is very nicely laid out. Originally being a digital painting software, Krita has a wealth of tools to help you create artwork and the animation toolset is adequate for traditional animation. It gives you a very efficient timeline with great keyframe manipulation options. You have your standard tools like onion skinning, lupin, and advanced layer options. I think where this really shines is in its marriage of traditional animation and drawing toolset that lets you replicate traditional tools. And being open source, this is completely free. Blender Grease Pencil 2.8 Blender Grease Pencil 2.8 is the most ambitious, crazy, awesome thing for 2D animation right now. First of all, Grease Pencil is built on Blender, a open source 3D package. Grease Pencil has the usual tools for creating artwork, drawing tools and coloring tools. You animate either by using traditional method or you can modify your existing artwork by breaking it apart or using Grease Pencil's handy sculpt features to manipulate your artwork. There are onion skinning features, advanced playback features, animation curves, access to 3D tools, light system, compositing features. I can literally go on and on about the scope of things you can do with this. It's mind-blowing. Although the possibility of working with this tool is mind-blowing, the learning curve is pretty steep at times, and sometimes the tool, specifically the drawing tool, does not work the way you want it to. Other than that, I am very very excited for the release of Blender 2.8, and oh yeah, it's free. You can check out these packages on the link below. I will try and update this list as I come across new 2D animation packages. Please like if you found this video useful and subscribe for more great content.